My two brothers and I boarded the Black Ball Ferry in Port Angeles, Washington. Our journey to Victoria, British Columbia, Canada took 90 minutes. During the 90 minute ride, we explored the ship and got food from the cafeteria. Once we pulled up to the harbor in Victoria, we saw cute little boat taxis with Canadian flags flying on top. We passed by airplanes that landed on water and passed by the fisherman's wharf. Upon arrival, we showed our passport cards and turned in our customs forms. As a first time visitor to Victoria, British Columbia, the process was pretty smooth. Upon leaving the ferry area, we made our way towards the parliament building. Just outside, there was a huge totem pole so we took pictures of the area. We're here at the Legislative Assembly of British Columbia building. We signed up for the hop on, hop off bus in front of the Empress Hotel. So we made our way there. Oh, there's the bus. That red double decker bus, that's us. Our bus driver was hilarious and we decided to enjoy the entire 90 minute tour. We went all around the town from the downtown area to the coast, seeing landmarks, parked cruise ships, Oak Bay Marina, Ogden Point Breakwater, Oak Bay Village, Christ Church Cathedral, and we even drove by a zoo. We also saw an ancient cemetery the historic Chinatown area where Goldie Hawn filmed Bird on a Wire. In the movie, they rode a motorcycle through the thinnest alley in Chinatown. Are all my American friends enjoying your long holiday weekend? Right? Independence Day? Great to have you guys here. Oh. <laughs> 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 She's chewing them. Oh wow, that's uh, new and improved. You guys are walking all over the view in 1939. What do you guys think of the view? After our Grey Line double decker bus tour, we made our way to get some beaver tails. I got the banana rama flavor, which tasted like a crispy donut topped with Nutella and banana slices. And then we ended up at the Whistle Buoy Brewery, where I enjoyed a fuzzy peach beer. After the beer, we made our way to Milestones by the Visitor Center for some legit poutine. Then we saw our ferry arrive, so we quickly ate our food and made our way back to Port Angeles, Washington. Overall, our quick visit to Victoria, British Columbia didn't disappoint, and we even picked up a few souvenirs. The ferry ride back was much more calm and smooth. I didn't even need Dramamine. The entry back was a breeze through security. Then we stayed on the port and waited for the fireworks to begin since it was July 4th. 